Hey there. Are you tired of sneezing your way through the day, itching and scratching from those pesky dust mites? Yep, we've all been there. You know the drill, you're not alone, right? So, let's embark on this journey together to tackle the dust mite menace. Together, we will reclaim your home. But first, what are things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! Alright, let's get down to business. Dust mites. Yuck, even the name's off-putting, isn't it? Well, you might not like it, but they're super common. We're talking microscopic critters that love munching on dead skin cells. I know, pretty gross. Now, they're not harmful per se, but their droppings, yes I said droppings, can cause allergies, and that's where the real nuisance begins. There's plenty of research to back this up, like a 2015 study from the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. Now, how to evict these unwanted tenants? Well, I've got a few steps for you that are backed by research. Pretty handy, right? Step 1. Cleaning. Go grab that vacuum cleaner, but make sure it has a HEPA filter. Why, you ask? It can trap tiny particles like dust mite droppings so they don't float back into the air. This isn't me being a neat freak, it's scientific. A study in environmental health perspectives from 2018 confirmed it. Step 2. Heat treatment. Get your laundry detergent and give your sheets, blankets, and pillowcases a hot bath. Dust mites can't survive temperatures above 130 degrees Fahrenheit, 54 degrees Celsius. A hot wash and a tumble dry can work wonders here. Step 3. Essential oils. Mites detest essential oils, especially eucalyptus, tea tree, or lavender. Just add a couple of drops to your laundry, and voila! A 2018 study in experimental and applied acrology shows they're extremely effective. Step 4. Protective covers. Invest in dust mite proof covers for your mattresses, pillows, and duvets. They're like invisible shields, blocking mites from reaching your skin. Now, isn't that neat? Step 5. Humidity control. Mites love moisture. Keeping humidity levels below 50% can keep their population under control. Use a hygrometer to monitor your home's humidity and a dehumidifier to reduce it if needed. Hey, you're doing an amazing job following along. If you found these steps helpful, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and share it with your friends who may also be fighting the dust mite battle. And hey, drop a comment below to tell us which of these steps you found most useful. Remember, it's all about perseverance. With the right tools and a little bit of elbow grease, you can bid farewell to those pesky dust mites. Take it one day at a time, and you'll have a dust mite free home in no time. You've got this. Alright, that's all we've got for today. Until next time, keep fighting the good fight against dust mites. See you soon.